DJ Perto Power Review. It's time to dive into the depths of a beer from my beer benefactor. Who is my beer benefactor today, you ask? It is Lagunitas Brewing Company out of Petaluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois, U.S. of Fang. Yay, yay! And what beer have they sent us to pour down our gullets? We have Phase Change Wet Hopped Juicy Ale. This is a canned version of it. You're saying, oh, it's canned version of this IPA that's a limited like in their one hitter series serving. That's right. I reviewed it last year, but it was in a bottle. So now it's in a can. They sent it to me and hooked me up. Thanks to me and Lagunitas. This hookup here, ah, clocks in at 7.4% ABV and 60 IBUs. Now, Phase Change uses their sort of, what do they call it? Their hop liquefaction process, which is the same process they use as Born Again yesterday. So, which is their wet hopped ale that is what comes out six months after the harvest. That rocks. So you're here talking here, we're talking about hops. What hops do they use in this beer? Well, they're using Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. That rocks. Then they dry hop this bad boy with Sabro and Cashmere. Even mo betterer. And that all sits on a base of malts, which are oat and wheat. Yum. So, <clears throat> that sounds awesome. It's canned now. And I think during my review of this last time, I said this was like, uh, it should be canned. So, let's see. Let's crack the top on this, get in the snap top, and tell you what's up with phase change. Ah, from Lagunitas. Ah, lovely crack off the top. Let's get it in the glass. Mm, mm, mm. I guess these days, if it's an IPA, a lot of times it's coming in pounders. You still get bottles here and there in 12-ounce cans, but pounders... Mm, seem to be the packaging of the day. So, let's talk about the appearance. It's a gorgeous, not totally opaque, but pretty hazy golden amber color with some, I guess a little bit of going towards the orange spectrum, but deep amber may look darker than that to you on camera. We've got a solid one finger and a smidge of super tightly packed eggshell colored bubbles. <clears throat> Excuse me, and when I swirl it, yeah, it looks like we're going to get some glass lacing. And there are tons of alcohol lakes just grabbing down the inside of that gl glass there. Look at that beautiful pro. Ha <laughs> ha. It's pretty. But you know what goes on here. It's, we know it got to smell good, too. So what are we going to do now? We're going to dive in for that aroma. Mm, a big, big punch mm, of stone fruit, like peachy apricot -y. Well, I don't remember getting that last year, but anyway... It's, it's going to change every year, right? Because it's from that harvest or whatever before. But, mm, big punch of citrus after that. Pine, nice dankness rolling up. Mm, now there's a good, good hit of pineapple with a background of grapefruit. Mm, some grassy herbaceousness that's kind of faint, but pleasant. A little bit of pine. Mm, but pineapple and stone fruit, to me, are dominant this year. Mm, followed by citrus and not a hint of alcohol. Psh, damn, let's dive in. Cheers! Thanks a million, Lagunitas. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just as I suspected. Awesome glass lazy. Right up at the front. Big, bright citrus on this super fresh brew. Mm. More citrus in the taste than was it that I was getting in the aroma. But then after that, that stone fruit pineapple thing I was getting, that's coming in. Followed by some mango and some spicy, like, right next to the skin. I'm assuming that's coming from the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, from the mosaic. Then maybe, like, a little bit of melon as well in the back. Grassy herbaceousness to the back of the palate and some dankness. Man, and then after that, bone dry finish. The 7.4% is completely hidden. Nice, medium, spot on mouthfeel with effervescent carbonation. Mmm. Nice pine resinous. I like the center of the sides of my tongue here and then the back man that bone dry finish and stone fruit and grassiness yum i'm digging this i think i almost like it more than last year i don't know but man rock solid brew not really that much to critique about it but somebody's got an opinion let's grade it at time of recording beer advocate is giving phase change from our friends at laguritas 4.12 out of 5 so that's probably i'd say like a 90 93 for that scale <clears throat> now, their sister company now, since Untap bought them, or maybe their, their master company, but they're still separate grading scales, so I'll use them both. Why not? Um, Untap is giving this 4.08 out of 5. Likely the same score, A range for both of them. Let me see here. Let me get a taste. Solid, super solid beer. I just want a little more of, like, um, maybe off-centering flavor, like a little more dankness, maybe. 
um, or a little more resinous, but I'm going to go real high A on this. I'm going 97. Super high A, getting near that A plus level. I'd buy this again. Great. I like it in the can. You can take that to the beach, on the boat, whatever you want to do. But super solid brew. If you've had it, let me know what you know because I like the quick broke well and, and the back and forth. I also really like it when you do a great big favor and you think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. And it is exceedingly cool also when you do what? Oh, you rate comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, and you know what you got to do after that. you got to help me push those Google metrics up by doing what? Smash that like button! Because that, along with a pounder, is all I'm going to need. A phase change wet, hopped, juicy ale from Lagunitas Brewing Company to put my big-ass beer drinking happy face on. So next to EJ's brew tube, i got nothing but a bunch of phase change drinking love for you, and you know what's coming for you by now. Hell yes. That's right. A big-ass peace out!